how do <laughs> Oh, I picked this beast up the other day. Um, just working on it at the moment. I've uh, cleaned it all up because it was thick with, well, obviously you can count with spray boost, so bits of filler and paint, and it had gone like concrete. And it was about, I don't know, 5 mil thick on everything. I've cleaned it all up. Uh, it does look pretty, pretty dooty now, right? Um, yeah, it was into spin on it. Yeah, uh, duty. Um, it did have a three phase motion on it. I've then bolted this one on it. Ran perfectly. I've took it back off because I'm going to clean it up and spray it the same colour. That's a boat driven fan and the motor sits on top. About there. I've got to drill two more holes. One just there and one just there. So, uh, you know. At the moment, two bolts are fine because the tension of the belts keeping the, front of the motor down. Two bolts, you know, it's, it's all very comfortable. They're still dressed up. There's your belt driven pulley down there, look. That's obviously the rear of the fan. So that's a job for me. It came with a startup switch and a load of uh, three phase cable, <laughs> five core. Obviously, I took the cable out of the switch. I just put a, a standard cable for it. This is just to run it. And then the switch will then eventually be mounted on the wall and the fan installed into my spray booth, which I would like to build. This is the cable. Nice bit of weight to it. It's even got a plug on it as well. Sounds like it's got, it sounds like it's got gl uh, glitter inside it. So I've got that switch. <laughs> And the fan. Um, at the same time, he chucked in for nothing this, <laughs> which is an early Ventaxia <coughs> um, standard standard window model fan. It's a, it's a Pilot 12 inch. That's the fan out of it. I took it out because when I sit it down like this, the blades are touching, so you know they could damage it. So I took the fan off. The grill goes inside proper job but I took it out because I liked the look of it without the grill it looks kind of a bit, bit more retro like the plug just pops out you unscrew that the motor just drops through plugs obviously part of the motor <laughs> you can tell it's an old one because this is like a terracotta breaker like car material along with the fan really thick plastics I mean thick half an inch thick in some places you can tell it's the older model because it doesn't say Ventaxia. On the new ones, they've got Ventaxia, Ventaxia, Ventaxia. This one, it's there. That just simply bolts on there. You can just plug on it, big deal. <laughs> but I shall be doing a, vi a video on that one when I want to install it. <laughs> I've got to order the bottom or the outside with the grill. Because it screws through, it goes through the window and then screws. And obviously, I'll, I'll need the um, the <coughs> gasket. There's your fan. The nuts on the bottom of the motor at the moment. Um, so that's my main job is to get this thing running. Must be vacuum out of all the crap in that. That's a doody one actually. I was given it by a mate of mine who's a caretaker at a local school when I was at that school. Big deal. So yeah, that's that's him. I shorted out the capacitors, but nothing seemed to happen. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe the capacitors are on the way out. I don't know. If it runs, very sweet bones are good. Um, that's a job. And the rest of it's all up there. So yeah, just a quick little one. And then I shall put uh, another one up when it's running. All right. See you later.